All right, so far in this lesson, we have looked at two equations involving acceleration. We have looked at the acceleration equation, A equals VF minus VI divided by T. And we've looked at the equation that you can use to find the final velocity of an accelerating object. And that equation was final velocity equals initial velocity plus acceleration times time. Now we're going to look at a third equation. And this equation is used to find the displacement of an accelerating object if you know how long it accelerates. And the equation is right here. It says displacement equals one half acceleration times time. It's an important equation, equation to understand. All right, let's just go ahead, jump down here and look at a couple of questions that help illustrate the use of this equation. The first question says, a spacecraft accelerates at a constant rate of 4.4 meters per second squared for 35.0 seconds. How far will the spacecraft travel during this time? Well, we're looking for how far, and that's displacement. So I'll just write x equals question mark. So I know that's what I'm looking for. We have a time, t. I'll label that. We have an acceleration, 4.4 meters per second squared. I know it's an acceleration because it says it's acceleration, but I also know it's acceleration because this is meters per second squared, and it's one of those units that's used to calculate acceleration. So the acceleration is 4.4 meters per second squared. Now we're going to use this equation right here, displacement equals one half at squared, because we're looking for displacement, x. So I'll write that equation down first. Displacement equals one half acceleration times time squared. Next step is just to write it down again, but plug in the numbers and the proper units of measurement. So we're going to write down one half. The acceleration is 4.4 meters per second squared, right there. And we're going to multiply that by the time squared, and the time is 35 seconds. 35.0 seconds and of course like I said that's squared so I put that in parentheses just tells us to do that first all right so I square 35 and then I multiply that by 4.4 find that answer and then I divide that answer by 2 or I could multiply it by 0.5 at any rate I find half of that answer and it gives me an answer of 2,695 meters. 2,695 meters. Now you might say, well, how does it work out to meters? Well, watch this. If we cancel units like I've showed you before, okay, I've shown you how to cancel these units, and these two units are the same below this division line and also above a division line over here. So the seconds squared cancels out. And that leaves meters, and that meter comes right down here to the answer. That meter is the derived unit in the answer. So the answer is this spacecraft will be displaced or travel a distance of 2,695 meters while it's accelerating. Okay, let's go ahead and look at this next problem. The next problem here says a ball rolling down a ramp accelerates at 0 0.50 meters per second squared for 3.0 seconds. What will the displacement of the ball be after 3 seconds? Well, the time is given twice here. I only have to label it once. We have an acceleration, 0 0.50 meters per second squared. And we're looking for, again, the displacement. X equals, and I'll put a question mark there. So again, we're going to use this equation, displacement equals one-half acceleration times time squared. So I write it down, displacement equals one-half acceleration times time squared. Plug in some numbers and units, that's one-half. The acceleration is 0 0.50 meters per second squared. And I'm going to multiply that by the time squared, and the time is 3.0 seconds. Again, remember I put that in parentheses, square that. So when I work this out, I square 3, that gives me 9. I multiply that times 0 0.50, and then I divide the whole answer by 2, or multiply it by 0.5 to get half of it. 
and that is going to give me an answer of 2.25 meters. Now go back over these problems, work them out with a calculator, make sure you understand how to work these out, make sure you remember this equation, displacement equals one-half acceleration times time squared. Alright, here's a good practice problem for you. What I'd like you to do is pause the video, solve the problem on your own, and then when you're done, put the video back on, and we'll go over it together and see how well you did. So go ahead and pause the video now. All right, if you're done, let's go ahead and solve this problem. And the problem says, from a standing start, that means from an initial velocity of zero, sitting still, a jet accelerates at 8.0 meters per second per second, and that is meters per second squared, for 6.40 seconds. What is the displacement of the jet in this time? So what are we given here? We're given an acceleration, we're given a time, and we're asked to find displacement x. That's what we're looking for. And so with that information we can use this equation. Displacement is equal to one-half acceleration times time squared. So we'll set the problem up. We'll plug in the proper units and the numbers into the problem. And let's see, one-half, and the acceleration is 8.0 meters per second squared. Just like that. And we're going to multiply that by the time, and the time is going to be in parentheses. It's going to be squared. 6.40 seconds. We're going to square that. So when we work this out, we square the 6.40 multiply it by itself and then we multiply that by 8.0 and then we take that answer and we divide it by 2 and we get 163.84 and that's going to be meters. We can cancel the units second squared cancels out here second squared cancels out there and our answer again 163.84 meters and by the way, if you've ever studied anything about significant digits, we're not worrying about significant digits right now. We'll talk about that in a lesson later on.